Good morning, everybody. I'm Teresa Perrin, and this is my stock market watch list for Friday, January 20th, 2023. All of the futures are green except the Dow, which is slightly red. Oil is also green today, which kind of stinks for me because I have calls in drip, the leveraged ETF that will likely expire worthless, but oh well. Um, anyways, guys, I really believe today is going to be an amazing day. This battle against the shorts that Roger Hamilton, the CEO of GNS, has started it's just going to be phenomenal, in my opinion. You're starting to see CEOs step on board. Um, Salvatore Paella, the CEO of Hellbiz, has said he wants to join the fight. Um, after I messaged him about it and asked him to watch it and made a video over the weekend that he stated he saw. So I couldn't be happier. Um, you know, guys, if you could reach out to the CEOs and companies that you're in that are heavily shorted and encourage them to uh, contact Roger Hamilton, the CEO of GNS, to contact Wes Christian, um, who's an attorney in Texas to fight the fight. I have links in my Hellbiz video, guys. Um, I strongly encourage you to do that because the more CEOs that join this fight, the more that Wall Street's not going to be able to get away with this and the courts are going to have to start to listen. You know, is Wall Street really corrupt? Are these CEOs making this up? What's the case? Well, when you have one CEO versus having, you know, dozens or hundreds of CEOs claiming the same thing, it makes a huge difference because guys, I have been in the stock market for over 20 years and I am not joking when I tell you the corruption has never been so transparent or so bad. Has it existed? Yes, but it's gotten to a whole new level and they don't even try to hide it anymore. It's disgusting. All right, let's get started with this watch list. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Okay, GNS Genius Group. I think this goes without saying. Guys, this is already up over $4. Um, it is just ripping on this news, as well as the fact that the CEO, I believe, is going to announce any day now that he is going to be um, doing a distribution, some kind of um, bonus to its shareholders, whether it's on a blockchain or whether it's a check, um, but something with a serial number that can be traced and I believe that this is what these shorts are deathly afraid of. Now, according to him, the um, free float is wrong. I know in Weeble, it says that it's 10.49 million. He states it's only 5 million, that the rest are locked up. So that being said, guys, can you imagine just with the amount of trading that occurred yesterday, last check, it was almost at, 26, at 260 million shares. 260, that's over 50 times the entire float traded if it's only 5 million. 260 million versus 5 million. If that doesn't scream to you naked shorts, then I don't know what does. Anyways, this should be everybody's number one on their watch list. My number two is Hellbiz, but we'll get to that in a minute because I was waiting for it to get a little movement before I screenshotted it. Next would be Grom. Interestingly enough, I noticed Grom moving along with GNS yesterday. And looking back at this chart, I am willing to bet that the same exact thing is occurring in Grom. And if anyone has contact with that CEO, I suggest you contact them because I truly believe if they enter this um, fight that they will see a huge spike in their price as well. Blue Apron, another one, guys, that has definitely been affected by this. If anyone contacts the CEO or Joseph Sandberg, keep an eye on Apron today. Um, Fridays, it tends to run in the morning. Then they try to shove it down because they don't want those options to end in the money. Carvana, CVNA, ugh, another one that I swear they're doing this to. There's no mistake, guys, that they pumped this to 390 just to tank the crap out of it. A stock doesn't go from $390 to $6 naturally. It just didn't get there naturally and it didn't come down naturally. This is just pure manipulation. Um, I believe that Carvana, don't know if it'll be today, but when this thing breaks out, and I mean breaks out and just keeps going, there's going to be no stopping it. A core, A-C-O-R. Despite the fact that, once again, it started moving and they tanked it immediately right back down yesterday, I have a firm belief that a core is going to rip faces off very, very soon. So it's on my radar and will be every day for the next several days, even if I don't mention it. 
Hellbiz. All right, guys, they are up over 18 cents at this point. Um, like I said, the CEO is joining in this fight against shorts. And bingo, 18 cents was the magic number we needed. I believe that you are going to see um, a nice, nice move to the upside in Hellbiz. It is very, very strong this morning. Bacot, BKKT. Another one, guys, that has been masterfully manipulated. However, you know, with Bitcoin, they have the excuse that when Bitcoin's down, well, no wonder the mining stocks are down. However, there is no doubt in my mind that this is occurring here as well. And Bacot, when it starts to move, it absolutely can move very, very quickly. Bitcoin is slightly green this morning. So keep an eye on that. If Bitcoin remains green, I'd expect big moves in Bacot today. Again, though, it is Friday and it's options, so we all know what that means. However, if it moves naturally, it will spike. Same thing with Mara, Hut. Guys, pick your favorite Bitcoin mining stock, BTCM, GRI. They're all ready for massive, massive breakouts. Riot, Bed Bath & Beyond. All right. Well, with no, no, uh, I don't even know what to say, guys. <laughs> I want to say with no, no, hiding of the manipulation that occurs in the stock. Let's put it that way. Once again, they have tanked BBBY. Um, guys, yes, I understand that it's not doing well, but I do believe that part of this has to do with the stock market. And that is to blame in a lot of these companies because when they kill the market cap, they can't get funding and they can't get things to run their business successfully. So I love to see BBBY break out. I did see a tweet that Ryan Cohen may possibly be joining this fight as well. So wouldn't that be great? All right, Adder, A-T-E-R. Guys, this is another one that went after the shorts early and they got very much attacked and hushed for it. I hope Adder joins with Wes Christian in that group and becomes more vocal because I think that if they do, this stock will be back over $10 very quickly. Alibaba. Alibaba made nice moves in the after hours yesterday after a very nice move to the upside yesterday. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know um, I have been calling this one out as well. And I really like where it's going. I think this is another stock that's been heavily beat down by those crooks on Wall Street. And um, I think that it has a lot of upside potential, guys. So keep your eye on Alibaba today. Mullen. Mm. All right, guys. Um... If you didn't watch my video last night, I suggest you watch it. Let me keep this short and sweet. Mullen technically should break out today. However, I have to be honest with you. I did reach out to David Mitchery at the same time that I meet, reached out to Salvatore Paella with no response despite other people retweeting my tweet at him. Um, I think he needs to join this fight. We all know that Mullen is very much under attack. And honestly, guys... If he doesn't, then I'm going to have to start wondering what's going on inside that company that he's so afraid of. So keeping a close eye on Mullen today, but my confidence in them is starting to be questionable, to say the least. Um, I'd like to see him join that fight. All right, IQ, another Asian stock. Asian stocks in general are moving to the upside today, guys. IQ is one that hedge funds bought heavily into. The only reason it collapsed the way that it has, and not that it's completely collapsed, but it's fallen back, let's say, is because um, they did it an offering and it brought it down significantly. But I think that today, yesterday, I thought it was going to break out, but it actually consolidated the entire day, which was strange. I think today we break back above six and that this could go on a run. Like I said, it is heavily uh, invested in by hedge funds at this time. COSM had news this morning. They stated that they did an update on their debt balance and Performa interest expense. They reduced its debt by 78% from $21.2 million in 2021 to $4.6 million in 2022. And they expect interest expense in 2023 to be $0.6 million versus $2.2 million in 2022. This is huge because it's showing that they're getting closer to becoming cash positive. So again, keep COSM on your radar. It is up already in pre-market. Netflix. Netflix, I cannot ignore. Um, they are up after their earnings, which... 
was slightly mixed. Um, in fact, I think one part of it they even missed on, but I think it's what they said, not so much what it was because they got a bunch of analyst upgrades this morning. And I think that Netflix is going to continue making moves higher today. Guys, I left off Tal, which I am still heavily um, watching. And I believe... Um, Coming off their earnings from yesterday, they went up and they pulled it right back down to being basically flat on the day. I'm watching today. There is still that gap fill to 1960 that I think any day now we're going to get a breakout to the upside. I noticed that EDU is up and that's another Chinese education stock up significantly in pre-market. Therefore, I would keep an eye on Tal because I think it's going to follow suit. All right, so... Top gainers. Well, no surprise here. The top two, GNS and Hellbiz. Um, and we also have Wiza, W-I-S-A, Akan, A-K-A-N, and L-H-D-X. A lot of these really small um, penny price stocks, guys, that most likely are undergoing the same sort of um, blatant abuse from Wall Street. And I would expect to see... Um, a lot of these smaller stocks start to move to the upside. All right, top losers. Faro, F-A-R-O, T-M-P-O, P-B-L-A, N-R-S-N, and C-N-X-A. Our most active, ABEV, S-C-H-W, S-W-N, B-T-G, again gold, guys, and K-G-C, another gold. And finally, our top technical analysis, Avia, A-V-Y-A, T-T-M, M-T-G, Juniper, J-N-P-R, and Owl, O-W-L. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day in the market, guys.